Hello, it's Rob Cornish. I hope you're well and it's Friday. So I thought I'd share with you a little tip which I like to use um, most days, I think, and hopefully you'll find it useful as well. So what you're looking at here is a photo that I've taken on my phone of a picture which is hanging on the wall in my living room, in my lounge, downstairs. Okay, I'm recording this video upstairs in my home office. Now, why would I have done this? You can see what I've done actually is taken the picture off the wall. I've rested it down on um, a sofa and uh, you can see my legs here as I'm pointing the camera directly down to, t to capture this. Well, about a year ago, um, just after we moved into our new house um, here in Cornwall, um, I was on the hunt for a lot more uh, pictures and so on to put on the walls. And um, one of the, I saw this actually in a DIY store called B&Q, which is a bit like um, a Home Depot if you're in the US. Um, and I really liked it. It was only 20 pounds, which is about 30 dollars. So really, really cheap. And I thought this is gonna work great on one of the walls in, in the lounge. So I bought it, been really happy with it. But every time I looked at it over the last 12 months or so, I've wondered, I wonder where that is. Is this in England, maybe North America? I thought it might be Northern US or perhaps even Canada, maybe New Zealand. And I've always wanted to know, but it hasn't got any labels on it whatsoever. So I took this photo and what I thought I'd do is try and see if I can find out where this was taken by using Google. So let me show you what I did. Okay, I've obviously got the photo here. It's in Snagit, which is a um, photo editor basically. It's an image manipulation um, tool, which is I love, I use it every day. But you, if you don't have Snagit and you don't want to buy it, then you can use a free tool to do something similar. And the first thing I'm going to do is just crop this. So we're going to um, just draw a box around it basically and get and crop up here at the top left and that just obviously gets rid of the, um, the stuff that we don't need and just isolates the picture itself. So now I'm going to save it so let's go to file save as and I'm going to call this picture let's say dash cropped. Okay that's saved and the next thing is to then go to Google so let's fire up Google here. There we go and I'm going to bring in um, the file that I've just saved as well. So this is, um, here's the one that I've literally just saved there called picture um, cropped, you can see. And I, all I'm gonna do is, is hold the left mouse button down, drag it onto Google and release. And what you'll see is that this will load up the picture, um, the image in Google. So you can see this is not on the internet, it's in, look, on what, actually on my computer, on the C drive, download, pick picture cropped. So far so good. The next stage is to do the following and this is the trick if you like which is to right click and go search Google for this image. Okay now keep in mind that I'm doing this in the Google Chrome browser so if you don't see this um, option search Google for this image in your browser then try Google Chrome okay and, and you'll find it. I think other browsers do have a similar functionality but I'm just going to select that and then see what Google brings back for us. Well you can see that this was what uh, this is the actual image that we're searching for and it's gone down here and brought back a number of websites which um, have this uh, image actually um, B&Q which is where I bought this from in the first place at DIY.com but having been through there the one that's really gives me my answer of where this picture is, is taken is down here so let's click on this link and you'll see it'll open up it's not an English page so what I'm going to do is actually get this translated so I can open up a new tab and go Google Translate okay and there we go, Google Translate, we'll click on that. We'll go back and get this URL of this page. So I'll copy that, paste it in here, click on Translate, and we'll just wait a moment and hopefully Google will bring this back. So here we go. If we scroll down, lo and behold, we can actually see this image, the same one that I have hanging on my wall in a book. And it's a book 
which is all about uh, Finnish lakes. So this picture was taken in Finland, presumably by one of these um, camera people down here. And I suppose if I was really interested in learning more, I could go and actually uh, order the book itself. I'm not gonna do that because it satisfied my curiosity. But that is a little trick of how to use Google image search. Now, obviously, I'm not suggesting that you will use it in the same way that I've shown you here. Clearly, that's quite a specialist uh, kind of case. Um, however, there are another couple of ways that you can use it and that I use it kind of day to day. One is that if you see images that you like on your travels around the web, let's say you, you see a particular graphic and you think, oh, that'd be interesting. I wonder if I could use that on my website or in, in my report or somewhere in my marketing then you can do it you can right click search google for that image and often you will find that image on a stock website either free or a paid one and you can go and get that image have the rights to that image to use it yourself and a second way that you can use google image search is to actually search on people's photos so if you go to a forum or on facebook or um, in the comments for a blog post you often see people's avatar a little picture of them you can right click search on that and it will often uh, help you learn more about what they've done so you might be able to find their linkedin profile um, their uh, blog their other websites all sorts of different things and because it's so quick it's a really good good tool to use anyway give it a try um, it might be something that you find quite addictive and you use a lot um, uh, or it might be something that you're not you only use once in a while but I hope this video helps great to speak to you talk soon